Yo, it's Sway. 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 In the morning. 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 Only on Shade 45. Wake your fuck ass up. Yeah. Bitches. Sway in the morning. There's no cure. Nice, Sway. Nice. Oh, that, man. Jermaine, how you doing, Jermaine? Good morning. Hey, good morning, Sway. What's up with you, man? I, mean, I got Megan Hilty here from Smash to Blonde. What do you think of that song, bro? Hey, first time, hey, first time I heard of that. First time I heard of Megan Hilty. Oh. Hey, that was that was really lovely, man. Good, good oh. stuff on the morning drive. Thank you. Yeah, man. Thank I, you very much. I really enjoyed it. And I, and I want to put your man on the phone because it's a guy who, you know, and anytime you find a song that really touches the core of a guy. Yeah, you know, especially on this station, we tend to keep our shields up. We don't like to peel our shields down. Yeah, you know, in a song like "No Cure," which you could find on uh, Channel Seventy Two on Sirius XM on Broadway. Um, yeah, man, it's just you know, I, I can relate to that. There's no cure. Did well, you thanks. help write this? No, not at all. I didn't. I didn't help write anything <laughs> on this. We album. Yeah, you just killed my we whole angle. Right right there. There. No sway. Hey, no sway. Give her a fair <laughs> shot. She has a way to explain herself. We would just talking about that off air and I was asking her about her approach to writing songs and to me it seems it would be harder to take someone else's words and make them your own but she's an actress she does that all the time so yeah. mm -hmm. it came natural for her to do but, that but you say like I'm reading some of your words and I went I like to go through the uh liner uh, notes the liner notes and you said you know for years I resisted making an album because I never felt like I had anything to say well, yeah, I think it's important if you're going to, to make an album, it has to say something. It can't mm -hmm. just be, you know, a group of songs that you like or, you know. Um, so, so yeah, I, I I never wanted to do this until... I also didn't know what my sound was because yeah. I've never done anything that's just me. Mm -hmm. I've always just done something as a character mm -hmm. or as a part of a show. So, so it took a while to figure out what my sound is outside of all of that stuff. So you you had to find your sound, which is interesting because you've done so many um, different uh, um, platforms and, and entertainment, uh, and then you had to find your voice through other people's lyrics. This song, No Cure, is about. Tell me what that. I, I mean, in a word, lovesick. I love mean, sick, you yeah. know, it's it's um, missing your significant other who's gone, and there's no cure. There's I mean, no it's pretty cure. simple. Yeah, now you you know in acting they have method actors, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and you people find different inspirations to kind of perform whatever it is put in front of them. So, do you have something in your life that you can relate to that that's relatable to this song? Like, you, have you had a a relationship that that severed and? Oh yeah, you know, I mean this this whole album kind of turned into a breakup album. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't mean to, for it to. Um, it was it was originally going to be all covers, and mm -hmm. it was all going to be songs from the movies, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. from soundtracks that I liked. And um, and the label started giving me these um, these original songs to demo, and and it kind of morphed into this. And all of the songs that I connected to were the breakup. Yeah, yeah. were the breakup. Yeah. yeah, and which I think everybody can kind of. I broke up to. with somebody before. Yeah, 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 everybody's. <laughs> and that's yeah. why I'm trying to yeah. talk to you right now because yeah. it's happened to me before, and I, I just yeah. want to see if we shared the same breakup experiences. Yeah, no, yeah. this I think that's why um, this happened because I did go through a, a pretty serious breakup, and and these were the the songs and mm -hmm. these were the lyrics that really spoke to me. Now, when you broke, when y'all, when you went through your broke your breakup. I'm always curious because mm -hmm. there's always that definitive moment, right? That yeah. you know, oh, this shit is over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it ain't coming back. Yeah. And then it's that awkwardness of how do you say it? Did the person say it to you or you it's said it so to It's so funny because there's actually a song on here that um, it's my favorite song on the album. It's called Be a Man. And it's the lyrics. It's it's probably a little too sad for this morning, but okay. it's um, but it, the lyrics are basically a woman begging her boyfriend or husband or whatever to, to just say that they don't love you anymore and that they're leaving. Did he say that to you? No, I'm not. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that like. Where is he? Who is this dude? <laughs> whoop his ass. No, Megan, he did not. Megan he did Hilty, not. we'll whoop his ass. <laughs> he did not. But I, I, I think, you know, I definitely have felt that feeling, you mm -hmm. know, of, uh, you know that the relationship isn't working and somebody just has to say something. Yeah. You know. Whoever broke up with you is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> can't well, believe thank that. you. He's not gonna do better. You know this, right? That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. And it's in the song. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is what I want to do. I want to play one more song, and then I want to come back and, and just have you demonstrate something a cappella for us. Is that, is that okay? Sure. Yeah. All right. Cool.
It's Sway in the Morning. Only on Shea 45.